Hey, welcome back, everyone. Thanks for joining me for this early sneak peek at an upcoming Mattel Creations He-Man Origins figure. And it comes courtesy of my friends over at Mattel. We have an early in-hand look at the brand new, even though it was revealed at San Diego Comic-Con 2023, Fangor from... Of course, the He-Man Origins line. Very cool. Comes in a standard brown shipper box. Really nice artwork all over that box, right? Inside the box, well, you got a classic carded figure right there. Retro play, of course. New for 2023, Masters of the Universe, Fangor. The fearsome fanged snake scientist. Of course, he's a snake scientist for the snake men, right? On the back side of the packaging, well, the artwork certainly comes to life it's gorgeous it's eye-catching it's truly amazing they always have such wonderful artwork on the back so you got fangor front and center you got the snake lair of course they have their own lair and you got hero you gotta hyphenate that remember always and lady slither which we know she is coming as well is that a pokeball nice thing about this packaging mattel creations thought ahead and uh, it's easily removable you don't have to break anything you have to rip the box you will have to take out some twisty ties just fyi now if you are interested in this figure of course this being an early look it was just announced but you can grab this figure on mattel creations starting august 8th in and around 9 a.m. Pacific. So ultimately, if you want to go ahead and grab this guy, hopefully this video will show him off enough and you'll be able to make your decision easy peasy. It's pretty stellar, I will say that. So in the meantime, I want you to sit back. I want you to relax. I want you to enjoy all these snake puns. There might be a, a couple here and there. This is an early look at the brand new Mattel Creations exclusive from Masters of the Universe, Motu He-Man Origins, Fangor, well, he's the fearsome fanged snake scientist. And of course, here is Fangor, all out of the easy to open and reassemble packaging, minus the twisty ties, just FYI. But he comes with quite a few things, like an original comic book, Fangor Front and Center for Eternia Remastered. It's a bit of a Christopher Nolan Inception story. It's kind of interesting, right? And if you look over here, over your shoulder, you might see a cosmic He-Man. Perhaps he is coming to the line as well. The backside shows nothing. I won't spoil anything for you. If you want to read it, you read it. But it's still a pretty fun comic book, which introduces Fangor here. Now, this figure comes with a really cool snake sword. <laughs> it's all one color. It's nicely done. It's got a nice sheen to it, a little silvery reflective nature to it. It's standard He-Man Origins weapon. This is my favorite right here. It's a snake wrench, <laughs> which leads me to a few questions. Was this alive? Is this alive? Is it like the land shark? Is it just that they like to personalize everything into snakes because they are the snake men? You can leave me that comment down below, but it's really nicely done. It's like a Ninja Turtles weapon. It's wackadoo, but... Uh, loves it. That's pretty darn cool. Now, the other accessory, you might say, well, what the heck is this? Yeah, it's a pair of teeth, of course, for old Fang or and he, uh, he basically has swap out fangs, because of course he would, right? Long fangs, short fangs, he's a Fangor, for crying out loud. The actual figure itself, pretty stellar. It's the standard He-Man Origins look. Nothing spectacular, nothing crazy, but I would say they have upped the detail. They've got some gold paint on him, on the belt especially. The sculpt is nice for all the new parts and pieces, right? But I think it really stands out in the color. You got this nice green, and you got the gold. I like his little vest chest thing right there. You got the snakes wrapping around. They really like their snakes. On the knees, you can actually move around the calf so that you can get his armored knee pads moving the right way. Just want to make sure of that. You can pull off the various body parts and assemble your own snake man if you want. And the head has nice articulation as well. It's on a ball joint, the face, the sculpt, the look, the paint. It's all there. You can go chomp it down on He-Man or whoever else. Now, to pull out the teeth, it's easy peasy. Kind of looks like he's uh, he's got dentures at this point, right? Like, shh. Hey, Shane, back in my days, we were the sh snake men. And you just simply put the big old tusks in, just like that. So you got some fangs for Fangor. And they really don't get in the way of the articulation at all. And you can see the difference. You got tiny fangs, you got big fangs. Whatever fangs you want for your Fangor, Mattel's 
got you covered. You can bite somebody and inject them with snake man poison. Whatever you want. Like I said, standard articulation, rip them apart at the waist, build your own snake man, have some fun. Sky's the limit with the snake people, apparently. Now, like I said, you got the calf rotation right there. That'll move the armor piece around the knee. It's got single joints. Nothing crazy, but everything moves. Everything looks good. It's just a really solid looking figure. I like the added paint detail. It gives it more of a Mattel Creations premium feel. Now, if you want to see the scaleture between He-Man and Fangor, not much of a difference. Roughly the same height, but you can basically recreate what you read in the comics, and I like that. Kids, adults, gives a little context for the character, and for the weapons, they fit great, including the snake wrench. Perhaps he's very much celebrating the fact that he just put together his barbecue, and if you saw my hands in this video, you might realize that maybe I did the same thing, and I too am celebrating. So, that's gonna wrap it up for my early fresh look at the brand new Mattel Creations Fangor from the Motu He-Man Origins line. Again, like I said, he will be available to pre-order slash order on August 8th in around 9 a.m. on the Mattel Creations website. I wish you all the best of luck for you grabbing one. He's pretty cool. I have to say I like the detail. I like the swap out teeth. That's fun. I can't get over the fact that it's a snake scientist. Of course he is. More on that in the comic book. But in the meantime, I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, uh, yeah, it actually turned out to be really easy to take down He-Man with the snake wrench. Really put a wrench in his whole saving eternity, right? And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Ah.